right, Sunday morning. I am back from my morning clean. I am back from my haul at Morrison's. Not much of a haul. Uh, it was even hotter in the office today. So I think it was something like 30.7 or something yesterday. It was 31.8 in there today. It's gone up, even though it's definitely a bit cooler today and it's a lot windier outside. You can tell that that thunderstorm that's due later is on its way. So not much in Morrison's. Most of the reduced sections were completely bare, which is unusual for a Sunday, but hey, is what it is. And I bought all healthy stuff. So, cauliflower. Two cauliflowers. These were pound nine, and I got them for 55p. Cauliflowers are really small this year, but the good thing about them is that, yes, you can eat the inside, but you can eat the leaves as well. So that's two types of vegetable in one. And the only other thing I got, I haven't had, I don't think I've had potatoes in at least two weeks. And there were a few bags. They weren't that great. I sh maybe I shouldn't have bought these, but I haven't got any in, that's the thing. These were £1.39, are down to £1.04. And that was it. Um, there weren't anything other things to tempt me I am really going to make an attempt to cut down on all the ultra processed food that I eat and I'm not making that so much the goal as the saving of the money because I think that's the thing that's more likely to push me to cut down not letting shops take my money for giving me food that makes me sick anyway so I've done a whole thing on that separately so those three things came to £2.14 and as usual I will put um, the information up there about what I've actually saved on the full price shop god it's so hot I'm absolutely knackered um, it's half past 11 so I'm going to start organising lunch get some windows open in here because my goodness it's warm and it's really stuffy so I'm going to go and get on and um, that's it, that's Sunday over, well, in terms of this, I don't think there'll be anything else going on on Sunday, um, so yeah, that's the lot. Well, the Sunday storm arrived as promised, I love a storm and I can't help but get my camera out and try and record it, <laughs> but it went off quite a while, so I've done a time lapse, which I'm going to show you now. And now you can still see me at the same time. I couldn't quite see all the storm because it was still daylight. So there was lots of flashing, lots of lightning, but it was just flashes. You didn't see anything else particularly. And of course, it's really, really cloudy. It was more like an electric storm for most of the time. And then the rain just came down. So... It's been good actually because the ground was getting quite dry and because all my outdoor plants are pots they dry out really fast so I have like four or five buckets which I put in amongst all my pots to catch any rainfall um, and then that kind of is the water that I use so that means that I'm not taking it out of my own water and paying through my water meter for the water for my garden. But it's, uh, it's cooler today, but it's still not cold. It's still quite warm, which is really nice. Um, I hope you enjoy this time lapse. Um, I don't know if you can see any of the lightning on it, I think because I've speeded it up. But the clouds are amazing. They're really interesting to watch. And th the storm didn't really last. I mean, it started, I think it rolled in at about... It started to roll in about seven. You could, you could feel the dampness in the air coming, and it got windier, and then it got darker, and then it came, and then it disappeared for a bit, and then it came back again, and, and then we ended up with a with a really beautiful sunset at the end, which I will include as well. So, I've I got the time lapse down to about six minutes. So, I'm going to leave you with 
six minutes or probably about four minutes now because I've been yapping for two and I'm going to put some music on the back of it and then you can just watch and enjoy it because um, it's really nice and sometimes you just need something a bit different so here's a few minutes of chill out hope you enjoy Tuesday I am back from my Morrison shop and this evening it was a partial clean. I went in about half past six and there were still people upstairs. Now sometimes if there's somebody here it'll just be one person they won't hang around long but I finished cleaning the downstairs the ground floor at seven o'clock and it sounded like they were still going strong upstairs and it sounded like there were at least two or three people and to be honest with you it's awkward one of the things that I like about clean, cleaning the offices is that I don't have to talk to anyone normally but when there are people upstairs or there is somebody upstairs and I go up there it's awkward because they tend to stay for a bit like half an hour and you're trying to tiptoe around and not disturb people who are still working so you're clattering around you can guarantee it will be the one time you drop a cup or something and you're making noise and you're having to clean around people and then you just have to completely miss out somebody's desk because they're there and it's just um, awkward so I thought well there's clearly at least two people up there it was quite noisy and I think they have some work experience people in 
at the moment. Um, I could tell by the way desks were laid out and things that were laid out on desks last week. So I thought, you know what, I've, I've done the ground floor. I'll go back in tomorrow evening and do the first floor. And I'll go in a bit later. It's a little bit of a pain because I have the Wednesday day clean already. But um, I don't want to have to deal with people. And if there's like two or three people upstairs and I'm having to pick my way through them, it's just awkward and weird and I don't want to do it. I'm just not interested in having conversations with those people. Anyway, so I did the Morrisons haul. Now, this week marks the beginning of me trying to change my eating habits. So I've talked before about with finance where don't try and do everything at once. It's overwhelming and you will probably break and then you just ruin it. So do little things one at a time. So my first rule is to stop buying the bad stuff. And I still have things in my freezer, but as I'm using them, I'm noticing all these gaps appearing in my freezer. So I know that I'm removing the bad stuff, but I'm eating it. I'm not going to waste it. And there's no point in me leaving it in the freezer because if I know it's there, I'm just going to keep eating it. So I've been slowly working my way through all the bad stuff. And by bad stuff, the things that I want to stop eating at the moment are things like pies, pork pies, stuff like that. Um, not buy any cake, not buy any shop bread. If I want bread, I can make my own and it's very different. Um, so those are the main things. Now there are, other, there are lots of other ultra processed foods which um, they say you shouldn't eat. You've got bacon, sausages, stuff like that. I've still got quite a lot of those in my freezer and I'm going to keep working my way through those. But equally, I cannot afford to buy better cuts of meat, etc. anyway. So I'm probably still going to have those things in. But I don't get them as often anyway because they're not often on yellow sticker deal. So I've banned the buying of the bread and the cake and things like the pork pies and stuff like that. Now there is one small slip up in my um, in my bag here today, but we'll get on to that. So I'm doing it gradually. I've stopped buying it and that means what I have here will run out. And I, think, I should think I'll probably have run out in the next week because I'm only eating, I'm not like taking out a whole bag of bagels and just eating them all in one go. I'm like eating like half a bagel a day kind of thing. Um, and I'm just getting my brain into understanding what's, you know, make, making the change. If you're trying to make changes in your finances, you'll find that doing little bits, getting them into your routine and then moving on to another one as well and adding it and layering it is a better way to go. So anyway, so let's have a look at what I bought today. Greens. Spring greens. I love the spring greens. They're great for chopping up in one pan meals. So these were 79p. They are down to 20p. What else do I have? I did buy more of those assorted meats. Um, it's a weird mixture of you get beef, ham, the corned beef, whatever. It smells lovely. But um, I'm not knocking this off my list because I tend to use these in small amounts anyway and I chop them up into my one pan meals. So I don't consider myself a heavy meat eater. I'm, I'm more likely to ration it because it's more of um, more of an expensive commodity for me. So if I'm going to do like a one pan meal, I'll, you know, chop up a sausage into it or a piece of bacon or a half a piece of bacon. So I don't go mad on that. I have some cheese. Now I know that cheese is often added to the ultra processed. I'm not going to worry about this. is a rare commodity for me. I don't often have cheese. This is a double Gloucester. It was £2.47 down to 62p. And I've still got some of that black sticks left in the fridge from last week. I've also got uh, Greek style plain yoghurt. Now I've heard that the ultra processed yoghurts tend to be the flavoured ones. Don't see a lot of flavoured ones anyway. And the Alpro ones are quite nice. Now I know that the, um, the dairy-free options are usually ultra-processed and things like oat milks are also lumped under that brand of being ultra-processed. I don't think they're particularly good for you 
and though I like the oat milks, they are very sweet and it does tend to hit that sweet thing in your brain and I'm trying to, I'm going to try and stop eating as much sweet stuff as well. I haven't had any proper sweet food here for a week. I haven't made any cakes, I haven't bought anything, I haven't had anything in the cupboards. Um, so yeah, the oat milks, you're trying to get rid of ultra processed oat milks are a bad one I'm afraid. And anything that's vegan, vegetarian, dairy free is often ultra processed because they have to stick extra things in it to make it taste nice because it doesn't. That's how I feel about that. What else have I got? I wasn't going to buy these and I thought, oh, do you know what? I haven't had a courgette in ages. And it's a four pack of big courgettes. These were £2.75, were down to £1.65, which isn't a massive bargain, but I've got at least a week's worth of veg there. So that will add to things. That's good. And they're in good nick as well. Um, I did get some pears. So the ripe and ready pears. There are four in here and they're good sized pears as well. These were £2.15 down to 54p. I don't often get the opportunity to buy fruit. Fruit doesn't appear on yellow sticker very often and when it does it's usually not very competitive. So you'll tend to see a lot of the berries and mangoes and things like that on yellow sticker but the prices aren't really my thing. Um, Okay, this is the only thing that I bought that I probably shouldn't have. It says pick and mix snacks. It was £2.75, it's down to 69p, but I'm pretty sure these are onion bargees. Yeah, these are onion bargees and they probably are ultra processed, I guess. Let me have a look, how many are there? There are one, two, three, there's four of them. They're quite a good size. Now, the only reason I really bought this is because tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, I will be out all day. I will get home about half past two and therefore I've missed lunch. So something like this will stop me reaching for chocolate and bags of crisps. It's a little bit more substantial equally. They're a good size and there's four of them. So I would imagine that these will last at least four or five days. So that's pretty much that's a pretty good bargain, yeah. They were £2.75 down to 69p. So that entire shop came to five pounds and three pence, which sounds quite a lot for me, but I'll do the usual maths on the side there, and then you can see how much I've saved. I think actually the savings are probably quite good on this today. Some of those higher priced things like I've got the courgettes and the pears, they're all over two pounds and they're down to less than a pound, so I would say that's probably a quite good deal. So that's my Tuesday evening. So Wednesday's going to be a bit busier. And it's annoying because last week I did all my cleans on the Wednesday. Um, because Tuesday evening I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter whether I go in Tuesday or Wednesday. Because I clean at the weekend. If I go in on Tuesday, they've been in two days. And then they'd be in three days. So it's either three days and two days or two days and three days. It's sort of midweek it doesn't really matter they don't care um yes yeah, so that's that so i shall go back in and finish i've done like a third of it because i've done the ground floor which is an easier floor um but that takes off quite a lot of it so i'll, I'll go and do my usual clean and i'll be back here about 2 30 i can potter around and sort of do a lot of stuff in the evening and then i shall probably go over about seven o'clock just to make sure there's no one around um, and then that will be my day. Um, I'll probably finish off tomorrow with my little drive to my, or back from my clean tomorrow. Um, and then that will probably finish off this, this vlog, I should think. So I'm at my travel water bottle. Wednesday clean is finished. And I'm running late. We got into a conversation on the doorstep. And it's now quarter past two instead of two o'clock. But it's not like I have to be anywhere else, is it? Um, do you want an update on my neighbour? You probably don't. But I'm going to tell you anyway. So... The remaining half of my neighbours downstairs is still there. I haven't had a chance to catch up with her, but 
life seems to go on. She's working from home and going to work. and But it's amazing how the routine has changed. The tea's gone. So it's a lot quieter downstairs. It's so peaceful. And when she goes in and out, I don't even hear the front door go. So it's like they would just, I don't know whether he and his mates or whatever would just bang in the door. And you can hardly hear her. She's really quiet. And it's nice because there's no longer people going in and out, in and out, in and out, all day, all night to smoke. There's no, I mean, it's really noisy because the front door really bangs and all the paving slabs up the side of their place are loose. So it like, you hear it banging all the way up the side of the house. And there's no weekly drug dealer making his drop off, which is nice. There are no multiple cars in the car park because all the mates turn up uh, with their cars. It's just really weird how quiet it's got. I still don't know if she is staying. I don't see any sign of her going, but I don't know when their contract is out. I thought their contract was up in April. Um, so I don't know whether she will stay purely because you know, they're going to penalise you and keep your money if you go early, I don't know. Anyway, so it's now much more peaceful. We are now all quiet neighbours. And it's so nice. I hope it lasts. Um, it's just so peaceful. It's like the evenings are quiet and there's no really bad singing and no guitar playing. And I felt like I sound like a miserable neighbour. But when you have a noisy neighbour and that noise is constant, especially when you live somewhere where the walls and the floors are really thin, you can pretty much hear everything. It's just so nice when that whole routine changes and you don't have that noise to have to deal with. Um, it's the, the constant banging of the front door and all the noise where I think he had like a gaming console and they'd all sit there and play you could hear them screaming and shouting at whatever they were playing and stuff and there'll be it was pretty relentless most I would say they'd start to turn up about four o'clock in the afternoon and they'd kind of go home about 10 or 11 and that would be like every day except Sunday it was just relentless all the blooming time so it gets really annoying and bearing in mind that they've been there for three years and I've been putting up with that noise for three years and this is the problem, you can't choose your neighbours, you just have to get on with it. They weren't doing anything really bad, there wasn't lots of antisocial behaviour really, it's just like they were in their late twenties, so they're kids really and I didn't want to be that person who complained so but I've always had noisy neighbours downstairs the first couple were used to argue a lot really nasty rows the second couple he was always at home he was a gamer and he would scream and shout obscenities at whatever game he was playing um, he was bizarre she used to go to work but he was always there and, and I think his job it also involved being on the phone quite a lot and he was really noisy. And they loved to play ABBA for some reason. I don't know why, because they were like, they were graduates. And they used to love playing ABBA at very high velocity. Oh my God, really irritating. Um, and then I, I, I've got these ones. And now with him gone, things have really chilled out, so I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that she stays around because it's just so much quieter. It's whether or not she can afford to, but yeah, it's amazing how much has changed. So all the expensive stuff has stopped, so there's, there aren't any like several takeaway deliveries a week. There's no drug delivery. She's not smoking at all since he's gone, which I find really interesting that her routine has completely changed since he's gone. So I don't know whether he was a problem. I mean, I've been in relationships where you just slip into other people's routines and they're not necessarily your routines or ways of living because you don't have any control when you're living with somebody else. So maybe that's got something to do with it. 
and I overheard one conversation when he was over with his mates clearing stuff out last week and it sounded like she's just lost interest in him because it was all a little bit like I don't really know what's going on kind of thing and I wonder if she's just got fed up with the situation and just decided she doesn't want to live like that anymore I've done that before you know the the, uh, the rose tinted glasses fall away and you and you, you stop enjoying the relationship because it's not working in your favour. At some point I will be able to catch it, but we have very different routines. So um, I'm sure I'll catch her at some point. But like me, she doesn't really go out. <laughs> We're both kind of at home, just working from home and doing our own thing. It's really weird. But um, yeah, so it's a really interesting change of situation and it's made it a little bit more pleasant because those constant noises that are in the background I mean I used to just put the TV on or podcasts on or YouTube on all the time just to dull so I didn't have to hear it but now I can sit and work in silence now or just read in silence and it's so nice I mean you get like a quiet day like bank holiday weekend just that we had and you could hear a pin drop there was no one moving around there was not lots of noise not lots of maids and it was so nice that I could just sit and read and I didn't have to listen to loads of the noises that were constantly distracting my attention I'm not very good with ambient noise I find it very irritating um, but you you know you can't choose your neighbours you can't you can't predict when you move somewhere what it's actually going to be like and of course things change because neighbours change and what have you so you know you just have to live with it it's not like I can afford to move every time I don't like a neighbour uh, if we all did that we'd all be constantly moving because we all have to live next to people that we don't not hate I think that's a very strong way to put it but just find slightly irritating um, and I'm an introvert and I find people often quite irritating it's the way I am unfortunately but you just have to get on with it and I don't want to be that neighbour that that dobs people into their landlord or whatever unless it's like really serious and you know if I dobbed in every neighbour I had that had a drug dealer my god there wouldn't be anyone living around me it'd be ridiculous there's so much of it going on anyway so that's that update so I'm going to end there bye bye